Hi guys, I'm Danica Ferranti from MyBeautyScraps.com and I have another fun paper pumpkin video to share with you guys today. If you missed my last video, I did an unboxing and I shared um, a card idea of ways you can use this kit if you're not following instructions. <laughs> um, and usually I share a bunch of alternative ideas to the kit and I've just been so busy this month. I've created a ton of different cards, but I have not had time to film a video. So I wanted to sneak this second alternative idea video in before we get our August kit. Um, but I do want to share all those cards that I created. So if you want to check them out, I'm making a giant blog post. Um, my website is mybeautyscraps.com, but in the description box below, I'll leave a link that takes you right to the blog post filled with ideas um, for using this month's paper pumpkin kit. It's such a fun kit. I loved the way the projects were designed and I just loved coming up with different ideas to use the materials. Um, before we get started, I also want to let you know about a really awesome promotion going on. If you haven't signed up for Paper Pumpkin before and you've been thinking about giving it a try, this month is an awesome time to jump in because um, if you sign up this month um, before September 10th and you enter uh, the promo, I think it's half off. 0917. I'll leave the promo code in the description box below um, along with a link um, to sign up choosing me as your demonstrator. Um, and there's a link down there too to contact me if you have questions about anything. But you're going to get half off of your kit and the kit is normally only $19.95 a month. That includes shipping um, but you can get it for half Price if you're a new subscriber. So I'm really excited about that. I love when there's paper pumpkin sales because you guys know I love paper pumpkin. <laughs> so let's get right to it and start creating this fun card. So I thought it'd be fun to come up with an idea for a card using one of the heart die cuts that's in the kit this month along with the stamp set. So from my stash, I pulled in two ink pads in powder pink and basic black and also the markers in those same colors. And I also grabbed my sequins. These are the um, metallic sequin assortment. I love these. Look at these gorgeous sequins. I love the iridescent ones. And I already pre-cut my pieces for this card too. So I've got a powder pink card base, standard size, so it measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I've got a little layering piece of basic black. So this measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then this is gonna be our top panel of Whisper White. So this measures four inches by um, five and a quarter inches. So I wanna use this die cut heart as a mask. So I grabbed um, a sponge dauber and my powder pink ink pad, which is super, super juicy. <laughs> powder pink is one of the new in colors, so it's a new ink pad and I definitely got my money's worth when it comes to the ink. <laughs> now you can use a um, temporary adhesive underneath this, but I just hold it. Um, with a simple mask like this, I find it's just as easy to just hold it down and not have to worry about getting rid of all the adhesive underneath. Um, so I'm gonna just use actually some of that ink that's in the top, but you could also just tap your sponge dauber right into the ink pad itself. And then I'm gonna start on the heart and work my way off, just going in circular motions all around the border of the heart. And by starting on the heart and working your way off of it onto our card panel, you're making sure that you don't get any like harsh lines. Sometimes you can get like a, a circle mark from the sponge dauber where you first place it down. So slow and steady is the best way for this technique. You can always add more ink, but you can't take it away. And the 
magic comes in removing your mask. And there you see we have a white heart with a little bit of a ink blendy background. <laughs> and I really like the way that looked, but I think it's really gonna emphasize that masked area if we do a little bit of ink splattering. So that's why I have my markers. Oops. So you just wanna keep your mask there in the same spot. And then I use the brush tip end and I just kind of flick it against the inside of the cap. And that gives you a nice fine splattering. And you'll get bigger um, drops if you're closer to the paper and smaller if you're further away. So it gives you a little bit of control. I find it's like more control than the blender pen gives me. So I'm gonna do that in the powder pink and then a little bit also in basic black. And we can take the mask away. That gives you an up close look. It looks cool, right? I like that technique. <laughs> and you can do more or less, um, whatever you prefer. I also wanted to use um, one of those gorgeous wooden words that we got in this month's kit. So I'm going to put it down to kind of figure out my placement. And then I'm going to use the stamp that says you that we got in the kit this month. And I'm going to ink that up in basic black. And then get that out of the way. Lovely. And you could stop right there, but in the kit this month, we also got this really cute, tiny little heart stamp. So I thought it would be fun to use that too. Here you can see on the sheet, it's just that little heart outline. So I'm gonna bring my powder pink back in and just stamp some random little hearts. And I thought it would be fun if they were Kind of trailing off diagonally. Kind of going off the edge there. And I'm going to make a couple of them like overlap too. And I always feel like it looks better if you make a few go off the edge. I think that's good. And then to step it up even further, I wanna add some of these sequins. So we got these glue dots in the kit. And I love using these glue dots for sequins. I like to just put them down right on the card base and then shove the sequin <laughs> right into it.
Okay, and now to put it all together, as you can see, I got some, I got my card base got like a little roughed up. It looks like I got some ink on it, maybe when I was splattering, but it's only on one side, so I'm going to decide that this is the front <laughs> and put our layers right on top of that so you'll never know it's there, and the back is still pristine and lovely. <laughs> so I'm going to use my Fast Fuse because I'm obsessed with my fast fuse right now. I swear, I never thought I would be converted from snail. If anything, it like works too well. You really have to make sure you've got everything lined up and you're putting it down exactly where you want it because there is no moving it once you put it down. It has such a strong hold. So I'm gonna move that word away for now. And because I already put the sequins on the front, I'm just going to put the Fast Fuse right on the black layer instead of on the back of our white layer. And again, make sure I have it lined up perfectly before I squish it down. <laughs> and then I'm going to use my Tombow Mono Liquid Glue just to put on my wood word. This glue has a nice strong hold, so it'll hold on uh, these heavier pieces like these wood words. And I'm gonna line it up right above the word you that we stamped. Super cute, right? I love how it came out. And I also love that you can do this card in so many different ways. If you don't want to go crazy with the sequins, you can skip that. You can skip the heart stamping and just have a masked um, ink blended area and have a really cute, simple card. Or you can choose to step it up with the additional stamping or those little sequins. Uh, but I just love this. Who wouldn't love to get this card? <laughs> I love these paper pumpkin kits. So make sure you head on over to my website. I'll leave the link in the description box below so that you can see all of the other cards that I created using the kit this month. Um, and remember, we've got this little guy left over. So I think I'm going to keep crafting and come up with a card using the piece that we used as a mask. <laughs> I think that'll be really fun because look how pretty that is. I might just add a little bit more, more pink to it, but even as it is, it's like a little work of art. <laughs> So thanks so much for watching today, guys, and definitely contact me if you have any questions and don't miss out on that awesome paper pumpkin deal. If you haven't subscribed before, now is the time to get in on the fun and check it out. I can't wait to see what the August kit has in store. Thanks so much for watching today. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out when I share the August kit. And I do have lots of other stuff I want to share with you guys this month, I hope. I find a little bit more time. <laughs> All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.